Have you ever pondered what an ultra-advanced civilization might look like, one that has harnessed not just the power of a star or a galaxy, but possibly the entire universe? Welcome to Wisdom Wave. Before we dive into the topic, we have noticed that more than 90% of viewers have not subscribed to this channel. It's free for you, but it motivates us to provide quality content, so please subscribe. Now, let's get back to the topic. Today, we're diving into the enigma of a Type 10 civilization. This theoretical civilization isn't just advanced, it's on a whole other level. Imagine a civilization that has mastered the energy of the entire universe. Sounds like the stuff of science fiction, right? But let's go deeper. You see, the concept of a Type 10 civilization comes from the Kardashev scale. This scale measures a civilization's level of technological advancement based on the amount of energy they can harness and use. So, a Type 10 civilization is essentially off the charts. Intrigued yet? So sit back, relax, and let's unravel the mysteries of a Type 10 civilization. To truly understand a Type 10 civilization, we must first delve into the Kardashev scale. The Kardashev scale is a method of measuring a civilization's advancement based on the amount of energy it is able to harness. This concept, proposed by Soviet astronomer Nikolai Kardashev in the mid-20th century, serves as a theoretical framework for classifying civilizations, originally splitting them into three distinct types. Type 1, often referred to as a planetary civilization, encompasses societies that have harnessed and stored all the available energy on their home planet. Imagine, if you will, a civilization that has tapped into every river for hydroelectric power, maximized the use of wind and solar energy, and even found a way to exploit the planet's natural geothermal and tidal energy. Then, we have Type 2, or Stellar Civilization. This type of society has transcended its planetary confines and has begun to harness the energy of its entire star. Picture a civilization capable of constructing megastructures like a Dyson Sphere, collecting and utilizing the full energy output of their sun. Finally, there's Type 3, the Galactic Civilization. These are civilizations that have extended their reach to control energy on a galactic scale. It's like taking the leap from harnessing the power of a star to harnessing the power of billions of stars across an entire galaxy. While these three types are the core of the Kardashev scale, over time, theorists have extended the scale beyond type 3. These hypothetical civilizations possess powers so vast and technologies so advanced, they're almost incomprehensible to our current understanding. And that's where our enigmatic type 10 civilization comes into play. But before we delve into that, it's important to remember that the Kardashev scale is not just about power consumption. It's a roadmap, a vision of potential futures, and a tool that helps us explore the possibilities of progress and advancement. Now that we have an understanding of the Kardashev scale, let's delve deeper into the concept of a Type 10 civilization. Imagine a civilization that has harnessed the energy of the entire universe. This is a Type 10 civilization. Just let that sink in for a moment. Harnessing the energy of the entire universe. It's a concept that's beyond our comprehension, isn't it? We, the inhabitants of a tiny planet in a tiny galaxy, are still struggling to harness the energy of our own sun, let alone the universe. A Type 10 civilization would be on an entirely different level. They would have mastered the manipulation of energy and matter on a universal scale. The technology would be so advanced, so sophisticated, it would make our most cutting-edge innovations look like child's play. Imagine a civilization that could create and destroy galaxies at will. That could manipulate the very fabric of space-time. That could travel not just between stars, but between galaxies and even universes. This is the power of a Type 10 civilization. But with great power comes great challenges. The sheer scale of energy control required for a Type 10 civilization is staggering. It's not just about having the technology to harness such energy, but also the ability to manage and control it. One small mistake could lead to cataclysmic consequences. A mismanaged energy surge could wipe out entire galaxies. 
Also, consider the social and political challenges. How would such a civilization maintain peace and order across galaxies? How would they manage resources and distribute them equitably? These are questions that we can't even begin to answer. And yet, despite these challenges, the idea of a Type 10 civilization is tantalizing. It represents the pinnacle of technological advancement, the ultimate expression of a civilization's potential. It's a concept that challenges us to push the boundaries of our imagination, to dream of what might be possible. Mind-boggling, isn't it? But how realistic is the idea of a Type 10 civilization? Is a Type 10 civilization feasible? Or is it just a figment of our imagination? It's a question that's as intriguing as it is complex. To even begin to answer it, we have to venture into the realm of the unknown, the uncharted territories of our scientific understanding. Our current knowledge of the universe is like a small boat in a vast ocean. We've made incredible strides, no doubt, but the sea of unknowns is still overwhelmingly vast. The reality of a Type 10 civilization, an entity that has harnessed the energy of the entire universe, lies somewhere out there in those uncharted waters. Reaching this level of existence is no small feat it would require overcoming insurmountable hurdles, both in terms of technology and understanding of the universe. Imagine the kind of technology needed to harness the energy of a single star, let alone the entire universe. It's a concept that's hard to fathom with our current scientific prowess. But here's the thing. Our view of a Type 10 civilization isn't just about the tangible. It's also a reflection of our aspirations, our dreams of technological growth and exploration. It's a testament to human curiosity and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. Regardless of its feasibility, the notion of a Type 10 civilization certainly stokes our curiosity and imagination. The idea of a Type 10 civilization is certainly a fascinating one. It's a concept that pushes the limits of our imagination, offering a glimpse into the vast potential of technology and civilization. It's an invitation to broaden our perspectives, to contemplate the unimaginable. As we continue to dream and push the boundaries of our understanding, who knows what we may become? Remember to subscribe to Wisdom Wave for more thought-provoking content. Until then, keep exploring, keep learning, and stay curious.